This morning, Edgar Martinez found out he wasn't getting into Cooperstown yet. Today, his first year of eligibility and after five years of retirement. Now, no one really thought that Edgar had a chance his first time around. But the question tonight that I'm interested in, will he ever get that chance? Late yesterday afternoon, another former Mariner, Randy Johnson, called it quits after 22 years in the majors. There is no doubt that Johnson will get in in five years as a first ballot Hall of Famer. So there lies the question today. Who gets in first, the greatest DH of all time or one of the greatest left-handers of all time? My guess is Johnson. His numbers stack up as some of the greatest at all time is position. But so do Edgar's. But his position is looked down upon by some in baseball because he's known as just a hitter. Edgar Martinez is the greatest designated hitter of all time. Heck, the yearly award Major League Baseball hands out to the DH of the year is named after him. But that's what can be like wearing a scarlet letter. If you're a Mariner fan, you want both to get in. You're going to have to wait five years for Johnson. But after today, you have to wonder if there'll be a place for Edgar in the hall to join Randy and soon Ken Griffey Jr. I say Mariner fans say yes. I say yes. And many in the game say yes. We just hope sometime and soon the voters say yes. Your thoughts on Edgar, Randy, and Baseball's Hall of Fame are welcome. Send the emails. Are you kidding me at 700ESPN.com? That's are you kidding me at 700ESPN.com.